Take my hand. I can't reach. You're gonna fall unless you take my hand. I'm not able. <laughs> take it. Use your forearm extensors and reach for my hand. Use my, my, my what? Ah! Looks like someone could have done with paying more attention in anatomy class. Brace yourselves, memorizing the names, attachments and functions of these muscles may certainly feel like trying to summit a mountain. But rest assured, we will guide you along our journey through the posterior compartment of the forearm. So what's the itinerary for today's tutorial? We'll kick things off by learning all about the extensor muscles in the posterior compartment of the forearm. Next, we'll discover how they are organized into two different subdivisions. Then, while we explore all of these important muscles, we'll discuss their attachments, innovation, and action or function. Before we set off, let's prepare ourselves with an outline of, of the forearm itself and its muscles we utilize every day for intricate wrist and finger movements. The forearm is divided into an interior or flexor pronator compartment and, our topic of focus, a posterior or extensor compartment on the posterior surface, which is represented in this image. This posterior compartment contains 11 muscles that are subdivided into a superficial layer with six muscles and a deep layer housing five muscles, all of which we will look at in detail. As we proceed along, it's important to recognize that the attachments of these extensor muscles include the origin or proximal area they arise from and the insertion or distal site of attachment. Lastly, from a functional standpoint, the muscles of the posterior compartment of the forearm are mostly, but not exclusively, involved in the extension of the wrist, hand and fingers. So let's get after it, starting with the superficial muscles of the posterior forearm. Now, as previously mentioned, there are six superficial muscles of the posterior compartment of the forearm. These include the brachioradialis, the extensor carpi radialis longus, the extensor carpi radialis brevis, the extensor digitorum, the extensor digiti minimi, and the extensor carpi ulnaris. Notably, the first three muscles of the superficial layer all have radial in their name, thus they are sometimes grouped separately as the radial muscles of the forearm. And perhaps the easiest concept to learn, before we really jump into all the superficial muscles of the posterior compartment of the forearm, is that all of these muscles are innervated by the radial nerve, either directly or via its deep branch and the posterior interosseous nerve. All right. Let's start with the brachioradialis muscle, which we can see isolated in this posterior image of the forearm. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.